afternoon, guys. It's working, bringing you a quick update on Steam. Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. Uh, we're looking at Steam to Bitcoin. This is the four-hour chart on Bitrix. Uh, Bitrix. And uh, last time we that's kind of a tongue twister, guys. Um, last time we spoke, uh, Steam was sitting, at the, I believe it was sitting right up here at about uh, 11,700 Satoshi, somewhere thereabouts. It had just had this very long wick down into this demand zone between 11,000 and 9.8K Satoshi. Uh, pushed right back up. I told you guys that this is where the buy, uh, this is where you should stack your buy orders, uh, right here at this demand zone between 11,000 and 9. 0.8k Satoshi. Uh, price didn't end up falling right back down, guys. Uh, came deep and uh, hit about uh, 10,500 Satoshi and then just started bouncing up from there. Created this kind of ascending support line here and price just kind of followed that ascending support all the way up um, and then just kind of impulsed right up from there, guys. Uh, this very strong impulsive wave here, guys, shot all the way up right into this deep into this supply zone between 14.3k and 13.8k uh, Satoshi. It's a very strong supply zone. Clearly, a lot of sell orders are sitting up in there guys price immediately the bull or excuse me the bears immediately rejected it back down into this um uh um uh, what was resistance was then acting as support between 13.1 and 12.6 thousand Satoshi um, and then finally broke down below that. So I do believe this area will now act as resistance again uh, if price does break back up um, into that zone. And now we're kind of free falling and here we sit here um, finding support at about 12.1 thousand uh, Satoshi, 12.2 thousand Satoshi, somewhere thereabouts, guys. Um, I do think that this thing has a little more downside to go. I do think there's a high probability we're going to come in and retest this ascending support line here. Um, if that does break, we're going to immediately, in my opinion, fall back down to this demand zone here at about 11,000, starting at 11,000 um, Satoshi. Um, in my opinion, this is where you want to stack your buy orders. Anything below um, anything below about 11,600 is a would not be a bad idea to start stacking in your buy orders um, right down here. But um, you know, somewhere in this zone, certainly as it gets deeper in here, if that does end up happening, you're going to want to um, enter into more of a position if you are interested in buying Steam. Um, certainly if you're interested in going long in Steam. Excuse me, um, but yeah, I do think there's a very good probability, especially if we break this support here. We can see this is kind of the last order block right here. This is kind of the last order block that's providing support for Steam right now. If that does end up breaking down, guys, we don't get support until it comes down into this order block down here. So it'll be a very quick drop, more than likely down to this order block here, as I said, to test this ascending support line. And uh, this ascending support line, we could get a nice bounce off that, or it could just break right down. Uh, and I think that'll be, that'll be the real test for Steam as to whether or not this thing actually has legs, or this was just um, a, a temporary bullish move only to continue the bearish trend. Um, we'll have to wait and see if that how that ends up happening guys but I do think a good risk to reward if price does break below 7,600 I do think that's when you're going to be buying at a discount anything below um, um, 11,600 as a discount the lower it gets the more discounted clearly the price is um, and, the, and the greater the risk to reward is um, so I'm not going to play anything until price does get down to 11,000 and I'm not saying it's going to I'm just saying there's a there's a chance that it might and if it does that's where I'll be stacking in my buy orders between 11,000 and 10,500 Satoshi is where I'll be stacking in buy orders guys now I do have some steam in my long-term portfolio Portfolio that I'm putting on to and not selling, but as far as trading, um, this is where I'd be looking to add to my uh, to not not really my long, but this is where I'd be looking to play a, a swing trade, possibly targeting 13.1 thousand Satoshi again somewhere up here. Um, to the upside, guys, I do as I said, I do believe if price, price now price doesn't have to come down here as I told you guys. This thing could turn around right away. That's a real possibility. There's no question. That's a possibility. If we start consolidating sideways here, um, I do think that a very that'll be a very bullish sign. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out, guys. But I do think there's a good chance um, that. Uh, uh, this is going to act as a very strong resistance up here between 13.1 and 12.6 thousand Satoshi. Um, the real supply zone where most of the sell orders are sitting is at 14.3 thousand and 13.8 K Satoshi. These are where all the sell orders are going to be. Um, and this is the zone that needs to break um, if we are going to uh, break this bearish trend. We had this this latest wick here was almost a double top testing this prior high here. And we can see it, it had a very strong rejection just like you would expect off of a double top, guys. Um, and that's a very bearish sign. Um, and usually that ends up, uh, uh, price does end up coming down or retesting the prior lows when you see that kind of thing. Doesn't mean that has to happen, just means there's a good chance. And as I said, guys, this ascending support line is going to be where, where the major test is going to be, in my opinion. Looking at the RSI, we can see 
that the uh, uh, it created kind of this ascending support line as well. Um, it looks like it's going to come down and test that. If it does, if that uh, if that uh, does break, if that ascending support line does end up breaking here, this is on the four hour. Does end up breaking on the four hour RSI? I do think there's a good chance that price is going to come back down. And as I said, test this at least test this trend line here. Uh, one of the things I find interesting, looking at the four hour MACD, I think I pointed this out last time. Uh, we could see that price was creating a series of higher lows here. Um, just to, um, a um, of yeah a series of higher lows almost following this perfect trend line here we can see this last time this last low it did kind of break that trend line um, but still created a higher low as as in relation to this last pivot low here uh, and then we shot right back up and what happened it created almost this double top um, we went in deep into bullish territory um, uh, hitting um, um, this double top which was, we haven't been this deep into bullish territory since uh, July 18th so it created this double top and we're going to see if we get a very strong rejection off this double top or if it can kind of maintain to this zone. As I said, if it maintains, that's going to be a very bullish indication. So let's kind of wait and see how this ends up playing out. If I come out here and look at the daily, daily RSI is sitting kind of neutral territory. I'm sitting right at about, uh, for now, sitting at about 46, somewhere thereabouts. I'm kind of watching this zone right here on the uh, on the daily RSI right here. We can see it's kind of a, um, let me get rid of this. We can see that's kind of a, uh, a decent um, resistance area here. If price does break above this 50, uh, that's actually right around 51. If price does break above 51, that's, or excuse me, not price, but the RSI. The daily RSI breaks above 51, that's going to be a very bullish indication in my opinion. So let's kind of wait and see how that plays out. But if that does end up happening, if we get a strong break above 51 RSI, again, that's going to be a very bullish indication. If we come over here and we look at our moving averages and our exponential moving averages, this is on the daily. We can see that uh, the uh, uh, that price uh, dropped below the 20 one day uh, EMA found uh, didn't quite reach the eight day EMA not yet anyway but that's a bearish sign of weakness that price is below this 21 day EMA I'd like to see this daily candle close out or above this 21 day EMA if that happens that'll tell me that the bulls are still fighting but we have to at the very at the bare minimum I need to see the daily candle close above this eight day EMA guys if that if, if price breaks below this eight day EMA in my opinion that's gonna be a very bearish sign at least in the short term I'm um, looking at the uh, uh, four hour chart we can see we had a very strong rejection off the 200 day EMA actually went way above it but uh, um, um, a very strong wick put bears pushed it right back down um, and then it just kind of collapsed from there we've fallen below this is again on the four hour fallen below the eight day EMA here and is finding support right on the 21 day EMA uh, as long as price stays above the 21 day EMA on the four hour that's going to be a very bull bullish sign um, or at least it tells me that the bulls have a chance to turn this thing around if it does end up breaking below the 21 day EMA on the four hour chart and below the eight day EMA on the daily chart again guys that's going to be a very bearish sign at least at least in the short term so uh, what I'm doing steam I wouldn't be forcing any trades I'd be waiting for price to come to you anything that is below 11,600 in my opinion or you're you're getting into a possible discount the lower the better anything that is above um, this anything that's above this order block right here so um, extending kind of all the way down here here. Um, anything that's anything that's above this zone here, you're buying at a very high premium. I would not be putting putting uh, any buy orders in there. And anything in this zone, you're kind of uh, it's kind of neutral. This is kind of retail. I wouldn't be playing anything here, guys. You always want to buy at a discount. So if you're going to buy at a discount, guys, I'm, I'd be waiting until price at least gets below um, this zone here, which is 11,600 Satoshi. Again, it doesn't mean that that has to happen, but all we can do is play uh, probability. And probability tells me, guys, this is where you want to stack your buy orders. Anything below. 11,600 and where you really want to stack your buy orders is this demand zone here starting at 11,000 uh, 11, to 9.8 thousand Satoshi. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it there guys. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. As always, I would appreciate an upvote, re-steam or a like if you have liked this content. And until next time guys, please trade safe, take care of yourselves. This is working. Signing out.